Hello everyone, Marin here for Learn Fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this new video. Today we are going to make this double slider surprise birthday card. As very often, we are going to mix and match images from different sets. And we are going to use the pint sized patterns summertime papers. So first thing first, let's check out the products we are going to use today. We have tweet card for most of the images and the add-on, coaster critters and the flip-flop add-on, all the speech bubbles for three bubbles and three greetings, all the clouds for the smallest clouds and sun, the double slider surprise die set, the smallest stitched wavy border die, the first and the second largest stitched rectangle stackable dies, the third largest scalloped rectangle stackable die, the second simple wavy banner die, papers from the pine-sized patterns summertime petite paper pack, and this one from the pine-sized patterns summertime 12 by 12 collection. As always, I stamped my images on 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock using Lanfon Jet Black Ink. I used the matching dies to cut them all. I am going to color everything using my alcohol markers. And those images, the awnings, the banners, and the roller coaster trains, I am going to color them so that they match with the beautiful diagonal stripe pattern paper in the pine sized patterns summertime pad.
So the coloring is done, but I still need to stamp a few extra things. The sentiments inside the speech bubbles and the flavors on the shop signs. I put the images back on their original spots using washi tape at the back of my piece of paper and placed it in my misty tool with a sentiment on each speech bubble. We have hooray, let's celebrate and make a wish. And I am stamping them using black Versafine ink. For the flavors on the shop signs, I want them to look like they've been written in chalk. So I am going to emboss those flavors in white. First, I am treating my paper with powder. This way, the embossing powder will only stick to the ink and nowhere else. I am using embossing ink to stem the flavors. Next, I am sprinkling white embossing powder on the ink. And finally, I can use my heat gun to melt and set the powder. And off screen, I will repeat those steps on the second shop sign. So now let's start working on the double slider surprise pieces. I cut two pocket panels and part of a third one that I am going to cut to make a grass border. Two small panels and a third one that I am going to cut to make two grass borders. And the track piece. The first thing I am going to do is to fold the tabs on the two pocket panels. They both have a slim tab on the long side, so I am going to fold it. And I am using my bone folder to make a sharp fold. Next, I am going to add double-sided tape on both of those slim tabs, as well as on the tabs on the track piece, on the front and at the back, just like that. Here I have some plastic that measures about two and a quarter inches wide. I cut that strip using a pooping bag from my dog and I am going to wrap it around the track piece. So I am going to add double sided tape on one end, just like so. Next, I am going to wrap the plastic around the track piece, removing the backing paper and folding the strip over onto the tape. So I am trimming the excess off. Now I am going to place the seam on the left and I am going to add double sided tape right on that seam and another piece of tape at the back and at the opposite, just like so. And we are good with the track piece. Let's put it aside for now and let's work on the small panels. Those two panels are perfect to make a beautiful sky, but I still need to create two grass borders. I am going to use that third panel along with a stitched wavy border die to cut them. I am using one of the roller coasters as a guide to see how tall the grass border needs to be, a couple of washi tape pieces to keep the die in place, and a quick run through my die cutting machine to cut our first border. To cut the second border, I am placing the border we just cut on top of the other. Next, I am tucking the wavy border die on the waves, washi tape. I am removing the wavy border and I can send the other to my die cutting machine to get a second wavy border that is as tall as the first one. So now we have two identical wavy borders. I am going to stick them on the small panels using liquid glue and then we will attach those two small panels on the track piece. So let's bring the track piece back. I placed a small panel on each side and I removed the backing paper from the plastic strip. Next, I am going to line up the right edge of my panel with the right edges of my track piece. And I am pressing firmly on the left to stick the panel to the double-sided tape. Now let's put the second panel behind the track piece and let's flip everything over. Again, I am peeling the backing paper off. I am lining up the right edge of my small panel with the right edges of my track piece and I am pressing on the left to stick the panel to the double-sided tape. 
Now we can flip the whole piece over and test it to see if everything works out. And it seems good to me, so now we are going to work on the pocket panels because we need to cut one last grass border. And to make sure that this last border will be as tall as the two other borders, I am lining the bottom edge of that third border with the bottom edge of the track piece. Next, I can line up and tape the wavy border die in place. And now we have our third wavy border. Just like the others, I am going to stick it on the blue panel using liquid glue. And before going further in the process, I am going to cut a notch on each side of my pocket panel. I am just tucking the die right up against the edge of my panel and I am sending it to my die cutting machine to cut that first notch. I am going to do the same on the other side, just like that. And off screen, I will repeat the steps on the second pocket panel. So now let's assemble a few more things. I have my two pocket panels next to each other, just like so. I am peeling the backing paper of the one on the left, flipping them both over and taking them right up against one another and folding the tab down to join both panels just like that. Now the track piece is going to come right there. So I am removing the backing papers from the back and I am going to place it just like that with the top against the fold. I am pressing on each tab to stick my track piece really well and the whole piece will fold just like that. It already looks super cute even with no images. Now we just need to add a pull tab on each side. I cut them both from another pine sized patterns summertime paper and I am gluing them on each side of my double slider surprise element. This way the recipient of the card can easily pull on the side panels and discover more cuteness. So now, before I am closing my double slider surprise panel, I am going to attach images on both side panels. We want those images to be able to slide inside the card, so we want to keep everything as flat as possible. So I am using liquid glue to attach those images. I am starting with the roller coasters. I am going to tuck this one behind the plastic strip. I just need to trim it a little bit. And I am making sure that the mechanism still works, even with this piece tucked behind the track piece.
So now let's slide the side panels inside the pocket panels. I am removing the back paper at the bottom and folding the tab. I like to use my bone folder to make sure that it sticks really well. And to close our interactive pocket, we just need to peel the two remaining backing papers off and fold the top panel just like that. Once again, I like to press on the seams with my bone folder to connect everything. And now I am going to stick all the remaining images on that pocket panel using 1mm and 2mm foam squares as well as liquid glue. So off screen, I assemble three different panels. We have a simple white panel, slightly larger than my interactive panel. We have a scalloped panel. I used another paper from the pine sized patterns summertime petite paper pack. And for the diagonal stripe panel, I used the 12 by 12 collection because I was out of this paper in my petite paper pack. So I added a bunch of 1mm foam squares at the back of the double slider surprise panel to raise it a little bit more and be able to grab the pull tabs more easily. And the last final step is going to be the greeting. I cut a simply wavy banner and put it back on its negative space using washi tape at the back. I placed my greeting in the center of the banner and following the diagonal. And to make the words follow the shape of the banner, I am just going to play with the stems, bend them and check if it's good, bend them more or bend them less until I am happy with the shape. So now it looks good to me, so I am going to treat my paper with powder. I am stamping my greeting with embossing ink sprinkling white embossing powder on top of the ink and then using my heat gun and melt and set the powder. I stuck the banner below my interactive panel using 2mm foam squares, attached my panel to a white card base and our double slider surprise birthday card is done. And I don't know about you, but I would definitely like to spend my birthday in an amusement park, have fun with friends and have some yummy treats at the ice cream cart. Well, as always, I had a lot of fun creating this card and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and see you at the ice cream cart. Bye.